think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me. You know my soul cries out, hallelujah. I praise God for saving me. I praise God for saving me. I praise God for saving me. Oh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, you know my soul cries out, Hallelujah! I praise God for saving me. I praise God for saving me. I praise God for saving me. Oh, when I think of the goodness of Jesus. And all he has done for me. You know my soul cries out, Hallelujah. I praise God for saving me. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. We certainly do thank and praise the Lord for His grace and His mercy and His love and His kindness that He has shown toward us. I say that on a daily basis, on a regular basis, whenever I do ministry, because I truly do thank God, because I realize that in Him we live, and in Him we move, and it's in Him we have our being. And truly, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, there's no telling where we would be. And I don't believe that we give the Lord enough credit uh, for His grace and His mercy and his peace, his love that he has shown toward us. And uh, when we just sit back and humbly think about the Lord, you have to take time out just to think and meditate on him as when things go wrong in your life, when things don't go as well as you think they should, you ought to just take a moment and sit down and, and count the cost and count the things that are going right. Change your mind, your mindset. Think about the positive things that are going on and how the Lord is making a way. And then also think about uh, the things that he has already done. Uh, because sometimes we're quick to judge, we're quick to get angry, we're quick to get upset, we're quick to throw in the towel sometimes but we don't realize uh, what the Lord is doing. We don't realize what he has done. We don't realize uh, what he's going to do. So when we begin to think, like I'm singing that song, of the goodness of Jesus <laughs> and all that he has done for me, you should think about all that he has done for you. And I'm sure if you're thinking the right way, your soul will cry out, hallelujah, and you'll begin to praise God for saving you. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, we certainly want to remember men and women and children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save and add to the church daily such as should be saved. Uh, we want to uh, remember those that are bereaving, those that are going through in their spirit, soul, and body, those that are sick and afflicted. We also want to remember in a special way all those that uh, have come through uh, and have contracted COVID-19 and, uh, and all kinds of other diseases and ailments. 
And we certainly do praise God uh, as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer that he will heal, that he will deliver, that he will continue to set free. Amen, in the name of Jesus. And we certainly praise God. We praise him. Amen, because of who he is. We praise him and we thank him for all that he is doing in our lives. And as we begin to go before the Lord in our Bible study on tonight, pray that something be said and done to encourage us, to inspire our hearts. Amen. God is always trying to encourage us. He's always trying to inspire us. Uh, there's another song that says, When I look around and see all that the Lord is doing for me. That's what we got to do. We got to look around and see yes. and pay attention. Pay attention to all that the Lord is doing. He's doing great and marvelous things Man. Uh, in our eyes. Yes. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in prayer, amen, are there any other prayer requests? Uh, just pray for me as a whole. Amen. Pray for the world. Yes, yes. We'll have uh, unity and the Lord will bring us all together as one. Yes, amen. That's his purpose. That's what he wants. Mm -hmm. He wants us to all come together mm -hmm. as one. Thank you, Lord. Let every heart pray. Gracious Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we certainly do thank you. We praise you, Lord, for your grace, your mercy, your love, and your kindness. Thank we you. praise you for how good you are to each and every one of us. Yes. We ask you, Lord, that you bless our souls tonight. Amen. Bless our spirit, Lord. Remember each and every request that's been made known to you. Remember men and women and children everywhere. Lord, you save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved. Yes. Remember, Lord, those that are sick and afflicted. Remember, Lord, those that are, are grieving and bereaving, Lord, yes. in the name of Jesus. Yes, we ask you, Lord, that you keep your hand upon us. Hallelujah. Continue to make ways where it seemed to be no way. Yeah. Protect us from danger, seen and unseen. Rebuke yes. death, rebuke the devourer. Yes. Lord, we pray, Lord, hallelujah, that you manifest your goodness. That you manifest your grace here on tonight. Yes, Lord. Send forth a word of strength. Hallelujah. Send forth a word of encouragement. Send up forth a word, Lord, to give us understanding. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, we give you glory and honor and honor and praise. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. and amen. 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 Hallelujah. We certainly uh, want to thank God for the Bible study on tonight. Thank you, Jesus. I know that God has a word for us uh, because uh, he always has a word for those that make opportunity to be with him. Hallelujah. God doesn't, he tells, this Bible tells us to redeem the time. And God himself, he also redeems the time. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So, so never, there's never a wasted opportunity with God. God doesn't waste even your tests and your trials are not wasted. <laughs> Hallelujah. God has a purpose and a plan. Amen. That's why he says all things work together for good mm -hmm. to them that love God yes. and to them that are called according to his purpose. Amen. And we thank his son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who died on the cross for all of our sins in whom we live yes. and move and have our being. Mm -hmm. I want you to turn with me tonight to... Uh, Ephesians, Ephesians chapter number two, amen. Last week we covered uh, some portions of Ephesians chapter number one, and um, in chapter number one, uh, the book of Ephesians is really a book about what God has done for us through Jesus Christ mm -hmm. before the foundation of the world. <coughs> Bible talks about God predestinating us. Yeah. In other words, he preordained us. Mm -hmm. And also, yeah, he preordained and predestinated. He made some things uh, firm beforehand. Yes. In other words, before we came into existence, God already had a plan. God already had ordered our steps the way that we should be. God has already carved out how the body of Christ should be yes. and how the body of Christ should receive its power right. and what the body of Christ should do. Yes. And those that uh, come in alignment with God, they fall in that way. Amen. They fall in that alignment 
what God has already done. Pre yes. Preset, yes. if you allow me to say it. <laughs> Hallelujah. The things are preset with yes. God. Yes. And as long as you understand things are preset and you walk in obedience to that, you would have no problem Hallelujah. serving the Lord because yes. you realize that uh, there is a way that seemeth right to a man, yes. and, but the end of that way is death. Yes. But the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Amen. When you understand that the, the ways of a saint, the child of, the, the, of God, the, their ways are already ordered by him. Amen. So that's why you call him Lord and submit to him, and he will direct your path. Yes. So that's what Paul was talking about in that first chapter. Um, in, in the book of Ephesians. And, and Paul wrote these particular scriptures uh, to those that are faithful in Christ. Mm -hmm. And that's a huge word yeah. because a lot of people uh, aren't faithful in him. Mm -hmm. they'll, they'll call on his name. They'll, 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 they'll pray to him. Yeah. But when it comes down to being faithful, mm -hmm. that means uh, uh, being able to endure all things. Amen. Being able to walk with him. As Paul said in, uh, in Corinthians, um, be, being strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Yeah. And, then, and then being able to endure hardness as good soldiers of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's what the Lord wants us to be steadfast mm -hmm. and unmovable. Mm -hmm. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. That's what, that's what describes faithfulness. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Scripture defines scripture. Mm -hmm. And faithfulness is being steadfast, yes. unmovable, right. always abounding mm -hmm. in the work of the Lord. Because as much as you know that your labor or your work is not in vain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Lord, help us to be faithful. Hallelujah. Help us to be steadfast. Yes. Help us to be unmovable yes. so that we can always abound, always increasing. Always it growing, yeah. uh, growing in grace, growing in knowledge, growing in wisdom, yeah. growing in understanding. Yeah. My Lord, I want to grow in him. Amen. Hallelujah. Grow in him. Amen. So that's what faithfulness does. Faithfulness allows you to grow in him. Yes. And the Bible says that, I'm going to get to my scripture in a minute, but the Bible talks and tells us it is of the Lord's mercies mm -hmm. that we are not consumed. Yeah. Amen. Why? Because his compassion, they fail not. Yes. They are new every morning. every morning. Hallelujah. Great is, yes. notice, great is great. thy faithfulness. Yes. God is faithful. Yes. Hallelujah. And, and his faithfulness is great. Amen. When you're faithful, God looks at your faithfulness as being great, yes. as being mighty. Yes. Hallelujah. God honors your faithfulness. Mm -hmm. You can fall short, but as long as you're faithful, God is imputed unto you Amen. for righteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. My God. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because God looks on the heart. Yeah. Hallelujah. God looks on the heart of the, of, of the man or the woman. Yeah. Man looks on the outward appearance, uh -huh. but God judges the heart. Yeah. He sees your intention. Mm -hmm. He sees your motive. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And he rewards you accordingly. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's why... Uh, I'm going to move on in here in a minute. But that's why when he was talking to Abraham about slaying his son Isaac and he read back his sword or his knife to slay him, mm -hmm. he told him, Abraham, stay your hand. Yeah. Amen. Why? Because God had already uh, in his own mind knew that Abraham would follow through with it. Yeah. And he received the sacrifice mm -hmm. uh, even though Abraham didn't uh, really lay the sword to his son. Thank you, Lord God. Why? Because God judged his heart. Amen. God was looking at his motive. You, God judges your heart. Yes. God looks at your motive. Yes. Amen. Thank yes. you, Lord. And he will reward you accordingly. Yes. Thank you, Lord. So as we get ready to go before the Lord in this Bible study, I want you to turn with me to, uh, once again, to Ephesians chapter number two. Thank you, Lord. And Paul, uh, as we know, one, one thing that I want to bring out about this particular Bible class, I want us to focus on what God has already done for us. Amen. It's, it's already a done deal. Yeah. It's what he's done for us. Yeah. And the reason why 
we're talking about it in this perspective is because uh, oftentimes we need to change our mindset, our way of thinking. Uh, God, when you get saved, uh, baptized in the name of Jesus and filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost, yeah. God really expects you to loose that old mindset oh, yeah. uh, that, 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 that you have to do things like the world, that, that you're no good, yeah. that, that you're worthless. <laughs> uh, God wants you to loose that uh, because he says you're a royal priesthood. Yeah. That you're a chosen generation. Yeah. That you're part of a holy nation. Amen. Uh, that, that, that he wants you to realize that what he has done for you and what he has set you in yeah. is, is worthy of you giving of your life. Oh, yeah. It's worthy of you living a life of holiness yeah. and righteousness. Yeah. And, and oftentimes uh, we think that Man, this 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 uh, level of holiness or or God's expectation of me is too high, yeah. and and that's that's the wrong way of thinking, oh, yeah. because we don't value what God has put in us. Amen. When He gave us the Holy Ghost, He gave us power, yeah. uh, power to live right, Amen. power to walk right, Thank power you. to think right. Yeah. Power to be holy yeah. as he is holy. Yeah. And that's the mindset we have to have our minds in. Mm -hmm. Because when we think like that, uh, so a man thinketh in his heart, yeah. uh, so is he. Yeah. When you think like that, it'll come natural. Mm -hmm. When you think like that, your actions will prove and, and change. Yeah. Uh, because that which is in you is, is, is transforming. It, he wants to transform and renew your mind. Yes. Hallelujah, my God. So that's the way that God wants us to think. And because he wants us to think that way, we got to realize what he's already done. Amen. Thank you, Lord. God has already done it. Mm -hmm. uh, when I talked about predestination, uh, predetermined, he set beforehand. Uh, how the church should be, the ecclesia, those that have been called out. Uh, he said that beforehand, yes. that we should walk in his ways, Amen. the ways that he has already established. Amen. And if you walk in the ways that God has already established, uh, uh, you shall be what God has ordained you to be. Amen. Why? Because it's an ordained way. It's a sanctified way. <laughs> it's yeah. a separated way. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. That separated way wherein God has supplied everything you need. Everything. Uh, yeah, glory. Hallelujah. According to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I praise God for it. Amen. So as we look here in the book of Ephesians, uh, chapter number two and Amen. verse number one, it says that, and you have he quickened yes. who were dead in trespasses and sins. Mm -hmm. And I want you to take note because uh, I want, because our thought here tonight, part of the thought here tonight is focusing in on what God has already done. Mm -hmm. And and as you see here, he says, and, and you have he quickened, yes. uh, made alive. And that quickened there has an ED. Because yes. uh, when you receive Christ, as your Lord and Savior, and accept Him uh, as as your Savior, and you get baptized in the name of Jesus, and you get filled with the Holy Ghost, yeah. He quickens you. He makes you alive. At one time, uh, we, as it says here, who were dead in trespasses and sins. Yeah. Uh, you, at one time, were dead mm -hmm. in trespasses and sins, mm -hmm. but not any longer. Hallelujah. Uh, not any longer. That should not be your testimony. Amen. Uh, thank you, Lord, that, that you have to regrow, grow back yes. to that old way, that yes. old lifestyle. Yes. You were dead in trespasses and sins, but he made you alive. Yes. That word quicken means that he made you alive. Uh -huh. I like to look at it like this, that we were dead, flatlined, but uh, the Holy Ghost performed some CPR. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. He, he performed CPR on us. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. And we became alive. Uh -huh. uh, we became alive. Yeah. Alive, alive spiritually. Yeah. Uh, alive spiritually unto God. Yeah. Who were dead in trespasses and sins. Now notice, 
Verse number two, wherein in time past. He's talking about still that, that, that old life. This is, this, this is that way you used to be. Yeah. Wherein in time past, you walked according to the course of this world. Mm -hmm. When you're in Christ Jesus, you no longer should be walking according to the course of this world. Amen. And what it means by according to the course of this world is doing things like the world. Yeah. Um, uh, Jesus, when he was talking to his disciples, he told them, him that's going to be great among you mm -hmm. is, has to be his servant. Yeah. He said, don't be like the Gentiles. Wow. Uh, uh, that you want to lord over people. Mm -hmm. You want to do things that, uh, to be seen the yeah. way the Gentiles act. Uh, that's that's the course of this world, yeah. uh, but the but the course of Jesus Christ uh, is for you to walk humbly oh, before your God, yeah. uh, to do things that are worthy mm -hmm. uh, of, of of great uh, power and great honor with God. Yeah. So notice, wherein verse number two, wherein in time past you walked according mm -hmm. to the course of this world. That, that's the old. Uh, uh, Frank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That's the old duck. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. According, Hallelujah. No, we did it according to the prince of power of the air. Yeah. The devil was our Lord. Amen. The devil was our king. Yeah. Amen. We served him. Mm -hmm. uh, but now we don't serve the devil. No. We serve Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, now notice, uh, uh, the devil was that spirit that worked in the children of disobedience. Yeah. Now notice the contrast here. Uh, God has called us to obedience. Mm -hmm. No longer disobedient. Mm -hmm. Amen. That used to be our lifestyle. Contrary to God. Yeah. Contrary to the word of God. Uh, we need to walk in obedience to God. Amen. Amen? Amen. Obedience to God. Yeah. And sometimes, you know, we get it in our mind that that um, uh, well, I, I feel better by doing what I want to do, yeah. and and we're not quick to humble ourselves mm -hmm. and to submit ourselves to God. Yes. If we even look at uh, the prophet Jonah, mm -hmm. Jonah uh, was a servant of God, yeah. a servant of God, mm -hmm. and uh, Jonah was disobedient to God yes, he because he didn't want to go down and preach to the Ninevites. Right. Uh, why? Because he wanted God to destroy them. He was saying in his own mind, Lord, if I go and preach to them mm -hmm. and they repent, you're going to forgive them. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. See, even that kind of mindset is disobedient. Yes, is. Thank you, Lord. Uh, all souls belong to God. Amen. If God want to destroy, uh, that's his prerogative. Right. If God wants to forgive, yeah. that's his prerogative. Amen. And, and I'm sure that if uh, Jonah was a Ninevite, he would want God to forgive him. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so, you know, sometimes we put ourselves in the, pro in the in, 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 as God. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Lord. We need to take a step back. Amen. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Yes. Let God be God. Yes. Hallelujah. Let him be true yes. and every man alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. So, so Jonah in his own mind, mm -hmm. Jonah in his own mind, uh, he wanted to do what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, instead of repenting and, and turning back to God, he decided he wanted to go into a boat, into a ship, yeah. uh, wherein putting other people's lives in danger. Mm -hmm. When you're disobedient, especially a child of God, when they're disobedient and doing things contrary to God, they put other people's lives Amen. in danger. Yeah. Not only their own lives, yeah. But the, uh, the lives of others. Yeah. And, and uh, when the storm came, mm -hmm. uh, instead of Jonah repenting, uh -huh. uh, he had a pity party. Oh, yeah. Said, just uh, told the people, just cast me overboard. Throw me off the ship. Uh, <laughs> my God, instead of returning yeah. back to God and saying, Lord, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, basically killed me. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. You know, sometimes we put ourselves in bad situations. Yeah. Uh, where we don't need to be, Amen. and all we need to do is just repent. That's right. All we need to do is just turn our hearts Hallelujah. back to God. Yeah. Save a whole lot of hurt. Yeah. Save a whole lot of problem yeah. if we just turn our hearts back to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and as you know the story of Jonah, I ain't going to go all the way over through that, 
But, but when they threw him overboard, God had to put him in a, a fish, mm -hmm. uh, a prepared fish, yeah. till he uh, recognized, well, I better repent and turn myself uh, back to God. Mm -hmm. See, he went through a series of, 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 of problems mm -hmm. in his life instead of just turning his heart back to God when he realized he was disobedient. Amen. Uh, there's a lot of things uh, that we can avoid. Yeah. Amen. If we just turn our hearts back Hallelujah. to God. If we just repent and turn our hearts back to yeah. God and yeah. be that, do that right early. But my, my subject tonight, as we're looking in the book of Ephesians, uh, Ephesians chapter number two, mm -hmm. hallelujah, and, and uh, I'm talking about what God has already done for us, yes. and, and for the child of God to realize that, that when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and get baptized in his name, and, he, and you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. all of the promises of God that he's preordained become yours. Yes. Hallelujah. And, and everything that God has pre-planned mm -hmm. becomes yours. Amen. And when we realize that God has uh, pre-planned our lives mm -hmm. and pre-planned the way that we should live, yeah. then we submit ourselves to God's plan. Mm -hmm. We submit ourselves to God's word. Then everything that God has said in our, to about us and has provided for us yes. yeah, can be manifested in us uh, through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I know I said a mouthful there, yes. but I'm going yes. to try to break it down in the name of Jesus. You, so in, 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 in verse number two, he says, Wherein in time past uh, uh, we walked according to the course of this world. Mm -hmm. When you receive Jesus, as your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bible says in times past. Yes. Uh, uh, you walk according to the prince of the power of the air. Yes. In other words, you did everything that the devil uh, told you to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. He was your Lord. But, but when you receive Christ, he becomes your Lord. Yes. Now notice. Thank you, Jesus. When you walk according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit... Uh, that now worketh in the children of disobedience. There's a, there's a rebellious spirit that is uh, within us from our birth. Yeah. Uh, but when you get in Christ Jesus, God gives you a Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And that Holy Spirit causes you to be obedient. Yeah. It gives you the power to be obedient. Amen. Not disobedient, mm -hmm. but to be obedient. Yeah. God expects us to be obedient to his word. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. That's why the Bible says you shall receive power yes. after that the Holy Ghost or the Holy yeah. Spirit has come upon you. Yeah. A lot of us don't put enough emphasis on the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, you need the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Jesus, when he was teaching, he said to Nicodemus, you, if you need to be born again yes. of the water and of the Spirit. Amen. The water, he was referring to the baptism. The Holy Spirit, he was referring to the Holy, the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Which you can, when you repent of all your sins, you just ask God. God, fill me with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Yes. And the Bible tells us that 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 uh, uh, when he gave, he gave a parable, yes. talked about a, a father. Mm -hmm. He said, if your father, uh, talking about your natural father. Being evil, know how to give good gifts to them that ask. He said, how much more shall your heavenly Father, yeah. uh, who is all good, mm -hmm. give good, the Holy Spirit to them that ask? Uh, all you got to do is ask. Yes, <laughs> Hallelujah. Just ask and believe. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Because God knows you need it. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he won't withhold no good thing from you. No. Hallelujah. When, when I was asking God for the Holy Ghost, he gave it to me right then. Yeah. Why? Because my heart was right. Man. I wanted to live holy. Yeah. I was tired of the way I was living. Mm -hmm. And I knew I needed God. Uh, and the timing was right. The season was right. Yeah. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So, so, so I thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. And, and, you know, I didn't really 
know about the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit until I went to church. Mm -hmm. And when I got baptized, it was on a Wednesday night. Yeah. And then uh, I went to prayer on that uh, Thursday night. Mm -hmm. And the brother came to me and he said, uh, you need the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And I didn't argue with him. Mm -hmm. He said, you need it. I said, if I need it, I want it. Yeah. Uh, and then we started praying uh, and, and, and seeking God yeah. uh, for it. I started getting into the presence of God yeah. and asking him for it. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't no more than a half hour, 15 minutes. I don't know when it was. Right. I was caught up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. All I knew was my joy was there. Yeah. My peace was there. Yeah. And I spake in an unknown tongue as the Spirit of God gave the utterance. Uh, there was a change. Hallelujah. Uh, there was a change uh, that happened in my life. Uh, and ever since that day, uh, my soul has been satisfied. Hallelujah. Uh, if you can't get me high in the Holy Ghost, I don't want it and I don't need it. Thank you, Lord. And from there, that Holy Ghost led me and guided me into all truth. Yes. That's why uh, we need the Holy Ghost Amen. to lead us and to guide us yes. into all truth. Mm -hmm. And what the, I don't know why I'm getting deep in the Holy Ghost here tonight, mm -hmm. but we need to talk about the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yes. Amen. The Holy Ghost, uh, the Bible describes it as a comforter. Yes. Amen. Yes. A comforter. Yes. And, and it comforts you. Yes, it, uh, it aids you. Yeah. It guides you. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. And that's what a comforter is. Uh, it aids and it guides. Yeah. Uh, the Greek word for it is paraclete. Uh, one that walks a lot alongside of you. Right. And that's what the Holy Ghost does. Yeah. It walks alongside of you yeah. to lead and guide you where? Where you have never gone before, but the Holy Ghost has already been there. Yeah. Uh, if, if, you, if you were in Jerusalem, if you were in France uh, and wanted a guided tour, you would hire a guide that knows the way mm -hmm. amen, the, yeah. to where you want to go. And, and not only know the way to where you want to go, but also knows what you should be avoiding. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And that's what the Holy Ghost does. Mm -hmm. It guides us. The Holy Ghost uh, it comes from heaven. Yeah. Uh, and it knows the way to heaven. Uh, so it ain't that where we want to go. That's ain't that our destination. Uh, and it knows how to lead you and guide you all the way from earth to heaven. Uh, so that's why you have to follow the leading and guiding of the Holy Ghost yeah. or the Holy Spirit. Because it will guide you to where you need to be. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's just give God a praise for the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And, 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 and we once had the spirit of disobedience. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We had that spirit of disobedience wherein we, we couldn't help ourselves but cuss. Mm -hmm. We couldn't help ourselves but drink and smoke. We couldn't help ourselves but fornicate and lie and steal. Amen. Well, at that one time, we couldn't help ourselves. Couldn't help and we couldn't help it. Even though you wanted to stop, Amen. Uh, pressure would come upon you, Amen. and you find yourself doing those things yeah. Yeah. Uh, which yeah. you didn't want to do. That's right. uh, and you lie and steal and yeah. cheat. After you do all of that, you feel sorry, yeah. feel bad. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or at least we hope you feel sorry. At <laughs> least we hope you feel bad. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But, but when the Spirit of God comes, yeah. when the Holy Ghost comes, mm -hmm. it empowers you, yeah. amen, to resist those negative thoughts, mm -hmm. to resist those negative actions so that you can walk in the way of God. Yeah. Amen? amen? So as we look here in the Scriptures, um, notice uh, verse number 2. Wherein in time past ye walked. That word walk means to live. Mm -hmm. Amen. We live. Uh, it was our environment. That word walk deals with your environment. That was your environment. That's yeah. where you live. Mm -hmm. uh, according to the course of this world. Uh, you live by the world's principles. Yeah. Now we live by kingdom principles. Yeah. Amen. Godly principles. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. All right. According to the prince of the power of the air. And the prince of the power of the air is the devil. Yeah. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Amen. He's still working 
and the children of disobedience. Yes. Now, I like the way Paul uh, phrased this, the phraseology of how Paul said it. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. Mm -hmm. he's, he's literally saying that because you are a child of God, you should distance yourself from the uh, uh, being a child of disobedience. Yes. Uh, that you should never characterize yourself as a child of disobedience if you have God in your life. Amen. If you claim Jesus as your Lord and Savior, yes. uh, you distance yourself from being a child of disobedience. Yes. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. I don't look at myself as being a child of disobedience. No. Thank you, Lord. We should never, if you're in Christ Jesus, you should never look at yourself as being a child of disobedience. That's, that's the people down the street. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That's the people in a different neighborhood. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Not, not your neighborhood, not your environment. Amen. Uh, not where you live. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Because your house is a house of prayer. Yeah. Uh, your house, he said, be ye holy for I'm holy. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Now notice what he says. Among whom, verse uh, 23, uh, among whom also uh, we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh. Yeah. Now, what he's saying here is, uh, uh, and, I'm, and, I'm, and the focus is on uh, what God has already done for us. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. We used to be like this, yes. which uh, verse number uh, 2 and 3 is talking about. Mm -hmm. This used to be our testimony. Right. This used to be uh, uh, what the way we were. Mm -hmm. Amen? I want the saints to get it in their minds and those that are seeking after God that, that uh, God has called you to a higher level. Yes. Amen? In Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. And because he has called you into a higher level in Christ Jesus, he expects you to walk in his way. And uh, God, uh, from what he's already done, yeah. amen, he's already given you everything you need that pertains to life and godliness. Amen. God is never asking us to do anything that we're incapable of doing. That's right. Amen. Uh, uh, he literally empowers us mm -hmm. to get the job done. Yeah. Amen. To live this way. We have to allow our minds to be transformed. We have to allow our minds to receive what God is doing or has done for us. Yes. Amen? Yes. Thank you, Lord. If you want something from God, God makes it available, but you've got to receive it. Yes. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. If I told Pastor Duck, I got $100 in my hand right here, uh, all she needs to do is just come and get it and receive it, uh, and it be hers. <laughs> Same likewise. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Same likewise with God. Yeah. God has provided yeah. everything that we need. We just need to come to Him by faith through Jesus Christ and receive it. Yes. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And, and, it's, and you don't have to worry about a price. Because Jesus paid the price. Yes, it's all paid for. Yeah. Oh, my God. Thank what if I told you in Florida, I got you a great condominium, all expenses paid, all, and I got you a flight, I got everything you need. Yeah. Uh, all you need to do is go get it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's theirs for you to receive it. Yes. I'm sure that all of us would be breaking our necks, yeah. changing our schedule, Doing everything we can do uh, so that we can get that which is already there for us. Uh, and how much more? <laughs> how much more? Hallelujah. That which God has, pre has prepared for us. Mm -hmm. Amen. He tells us, Jesus said, he said, don't labor for that meat that perishes. Mm -hmm. Amen. But labor for that meat that endured to eternal life. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, God, God has prepared it for us. Amen. 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 Uh, and all we got to do is go get it. Yeah. Go get it by faith. Amen. Amen. Now notice what he said. Hallelujah. Uh, we in verse number three. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going I'm to hurry up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says, among whom also we had 
our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh. He's talking about when we were the children of disobedience. Mm -hmm. That word conversation, it doesn't talk about, it doesn't mean uh, what we're saying. That's an old uh, English translation of a word. Uh, conversation here means intercourse, mm -hmm. which means interaction. Yeah. Uh, our deeds, uh, what we, what we, what we do. Yeah. Like we're, uh, and according to old English, right now we're interacting. Mm -hmm. uh, this is our conversation. Mm -hmm. We're having intercourse with one another. Yeah. Amen. We're acting. We're, 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 we're interacting between each other. Yeah. And that's what that word there means. Mm -hmm. He says, uh, among whom also you had your, your interaction yeah. in time past uh, uh, in the lust of your flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's how we live in time past, mm -hmm. according to the lust of our flesh. Yeah. And then when we did that, we were fulfilling the desires of the flesh, mm -hmm. notice, and of the mind. We did what came into our mind that satisfied our flesh. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Our, 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 our carnal nature, yeah. our carnal desires, yeah. what we wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I want to pause here just for a quick second. Um, um, our passions. I taught this uh, in a Bible class uh, before we left uh, on um, uh, Walnut Street. Uh, our passions. And when I speak of our passions... I'm not talking about uh, loving passions as a man for a woman, but passions in desires. Yeah. Amen. We fulfill uh, the desires that we have in our heart. Mm -hmm. If I had a desire to, to, to go climb a mountain, I would find a way, uh, because it's my passion, mm -hmm. to climb that mountain. Mm -hmm. If I had a passion uh, to, to, to walk across uh, uh, this great city uh, because it's my passion I find a way to do it mm -hmm. uh, we have to be careful with our passions yeah. because if our passions don't line up with God mm -hmm. it'll take us off the mark yeah. amen it will become our heart's desire and it would lead us in the wrong direction Man. further away from God yeah. that's why Paul said let your affections, set your affections, your passions yeah. on things above. Hallelujah. Amen. Where Christ sitteth at the right hand of God. Yeah. You have to really uh, turn your passions into loving the things that God loves. Amen. And hating the things that God hates. Yeah. Amen. My God, I know I'm saying a mouthful Hallelujah. here. Hallelujah. Thank you. Because if you go after your own passions, yeah. uh, and those passions don't line up with God, it'll take you off course. Amen. Hallelujah. You'll spend all your labor and all your work doing things that don't amount to a hill of beans, yeah. so to speak, yeah. uh, when it comes down to serving your God. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, just give God a praise. Thank you. I wish somebody would have told me this early. Mm -hmm. Then I would have dropped some stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, some some right. stuff that I that I thought was important, that I was passionate about, yeah. but God was not passionate about. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's why Jesus said, What profit is a man mm -hmm. that to gain the whole world yeah. and lose his soul? Right. And what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Yeah. Amen. He was talking about passions. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Passions. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And I ain't talking about lustful passions or, 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 or sexual passions. Yeah. I'm talking about your desires yeah. uh, that you have in your own heart yeah. that don't line up with God. Right. Amen? Right. Hallelujah. Now, I ain't saying that all your passions and all your desires are evil. No. Huh? No, I'm not saying that. Right. But I'm saying that you've got to guard against those passions that lead you away from God. Right. Right. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There's a difference. Hallelujah. All right. Now notice, among whom we had our conversation, our lifestyle, our interactions in times past, uh, in the lust of our flesh. Notice, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. Uh, that's why you got to guard your mind. Uh, guard your mind. Uh, uh, the Bible tells us to keep your heart with all diligence. For out of it comes the issues of life. Mm -hmm. you got to watch what you think about. Amen. Mm -hmm. What you think about 
and it's dominating your thoughts, it's going to come to pass. You're going to find yourself doing it. Amen. So you got to watch what you think. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Uh, Jesus said, uh, well, Jesus, Jesus said, but the Word of God said it. Uh, Let this mind be in you, uh, which is also where? In Christ Jesus. Amen? And Paul wrote, uh, think on these things, whatsoever things are lovely, yeah. just. Uh, and, and he went on and named a few more. Yeah. Uh, uh, think on those things. Yes. Uh, don't allow negativity uh, thoughts to dwell in your mind. Amen? Amen? Amen. Uh, Amen. The Bible tells us we got to bring our thoughts into captivity yeah. uh, to the obedience of Christ. Mm -hmm. In other words, we got to align our thoughts with the Word of God. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. There's some things that, that happen, even with my own mind. Uh, this morning, I made up in my mind, uh, uh, I was thinking negative on some stuff, and I said, no, nah, this thing is trying to affect my mood. Uh, so I turned it around. The Holy Ghost helped me to turn it around, uh, to, to make that negative positive. Uh, though, though, though this is happening, but look at all this on the other side to this happening. Uh, uh, that's what we got to do. Right. Not just dwell in the negative. Uh, you got to encourage yourself <laughs> in the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. My God. Come on, give God one more praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Don't let your mind run rampant. No. Don't let your mind go in every backyard, no. uh, in every corner, every bedroom, every nook and cranny, no. uh, every negative corner. No. Uh, you bring your mind in yeah. uh, and think of the goodness. Uh, of Jesus. Yeah. Think of the positive yeah. of these situations yeah. and, and, and situations that are going on. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. My God. I, I may have lost, but look, now I got another opportunity. Uh, that's what, that's what the, uh, the symbol uh, uh, crisis means. Yeah. Despair and opportunity. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I may be despairing right now. I may be going through right now, mm -hmm. but what I'm going through and what is happening to me is creating another opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the key is that I learned from this uh, tragedy. I learned from what I've been through. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I get over to the, my promised land, till I get over to my new position, I, I'll, I'll act different. Yeah. Uh, I'll walk different. I'll yeah. think different. Yeah. I'll, I've learned something. I won't allow uh, that which uh, caused me the crisis to cause me a crisis over here. Well, I'll be God. better. Yeah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Come on, give God some glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. The Holy Ghost is talking tonight. Uh, yeah, glory. The Holy Ghost is talking tonight. Notice what he says. He said, uh, verse number two, among whom we had our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh. Notice, we were fulfilling uh, the desires of the flesh and of the mind. That's what you used to do. Yeah. Amen. You don't do that no more. Mm -hmm. And we're by nature, notice, the children of wrath, even as others. Yeah. Now, what do you mean by we're by nature? You know, he's talking about um, that. When he's talking about, but we're by nature, the children of wrath, even as others. Notice uh, in those upper verse there, he said, we were fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind. Yes. He's still connecting that thought because he's got that conjunction there, and. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. So what he's saying is, is that the, 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 by nature, he's talking about the native mode of our thinking mm -hmm. and the way we feel, mm -hmm. the way we act was at one time unenlightened. Yes. At one time, it, it was un, it was ungodly. Yeah. Uh, that's what he's talking about. We're by nature, mm -hmm. meaning that the the natural way you used to think, yeah. the natural way you used to feel, yeah. Amen. The natural way you used to act, Amen, was by nature. Uh, notice what he says. By nature, uh, uh, the children of wrath, Amen. God's God's wrath was upon you by. Because of the way you were thinking. Yes. By, because of the way you used to act. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lord. That's what that word nature means. Because we were unsanctified. Yes. We were unholy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. We, we didn't have the Holy Ghost in us right. to regulate our thoughts, mm -hmm. to regulate our mind, yes. 
to regulate our spirit. Amen. When when I when 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 I received the Holy Ghost, uh, um, there was a woman that I, I told this before that I was there to get my credit straightened out, and um, and she wouldn't even give me no problems. But I'm standing there talking to her, and uh, uh, something off in my mind said, "Hit the beat," you know, and just like that, hit the beat. I'm like, "What hit the beat? What you talking?" And 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 I wasn't no violent individual anyway. Uh, but in my nature, yeah. uh, my course of way of thinking, right. amen, those thoughts come up. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And, and, and wrath, anger. Yeah. Uh, some people got anger management problems. Right. And, and they got anger management problems honestly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. They were born with it. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. They said them. Uh -huh. uh, they, uh, that was their nature. That was that was the course yeah. uh, about which they they carried themselves. That was the course by which they acted. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And that brought about the wrath of God. Yeah. Amen. Why? Because uh, uh, God God is angry with the wicked. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. God God's wrath is upon the those that are wicked and uh, and disobedient. Uh, what keeps the wrath of God up off of them is the mercy of God. Yeah. Amen. That that God God is long suffering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. God waits. Amen. He waits and he waits. Though 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 something wants you to God to cash in on you. Mm -hmm. uh, God God's long suffering. Yeah. God's mercy. Mm -hmm. Amen. It holds it back His wrath yeah. to give you an opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. My God. Thank God for the opportunity. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now notice what he said. And where by nature the children of wrath are even as others. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Now, verse number four. But God. Now, now that's that. Now see, he was telling you what you used to be. Mm -hmm. Now he's getting ready to tell you why and how you were transformed. Oh, Hallelujah. Now notice. Hallelujah. But God, who is what? Rich in mercy and what? For his great love for which he loved us. Now notice, he says God is what? Rich in mercy. Rich. Uh, he's rich in mercy. Yeah. And when you look at that word rich, you, uh, I believe, I don't know if it's still true, but uh, last time I thought Bill Gates was one of the, of the richest people, but it's probably somebody else by now. Bezos. Uh, Be Bezos? Mm -hmm. hey, Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 God is richer than him. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Yeah. And God is rich in what? Mercy. Mercy. Yeah. Amen. And, and Paul is using that word to our benefit. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mercy, when you understand mercy, mercy is love that literally overtakes the guilty. Amen. Uh, an individual that is guilty, uh, an individual that has done wrong, uh, mercy overtakes them through love and forgives them, yeah. amen, releases them from their error, from, from their debt, mm -hmm. from their sins, amen, yeah. and that's what God extends to us through Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. and we have to realize that, why is that important, why, because the enemy he always trying to bring up your past. Yeah. He's always trying to tell you yeah. how bad you were. Uh, Amen. And trying to make you feel guilty right. about what God has already forgiven you for. That's right. About what God has already had mercy on you for. That's right. That's Hallelujah. Yeah. You follow me? Thank you, Lord. That's the enemy. That's so but when you know uh, that God has forgiven me, that God has extended mercy upon me. Mm -hmm. When the enemy brings that to your mind, it has none effect on you. Right. Amen? Right. It has none effect. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you know you've already been forgiven. Yes. You know you've already been set free. Amen. So that so that doesn't impede your walk with God. Mm -hmm. That doesn't stop your walk with God. Why? Because you know that you have been forgiven. Amen? That you've been released from that debt. Yeah. That the love of God, mm -hmm. hallelujah, that uh, it constraineth us. 
Hallelujah. It, it, the love of God and the mercy of God and the, and the faithfulness of God yeah. uh, that, that is extended to us through Christ Jesus has, has forgiven me. Yeah. Amen. You've got to have that always in your mind. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Pastor Doug, will you read that next verse for us? Verse 5. Uh-huh. Even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Christ. Now notice. When we were dead in our sins, he made us uh, alive mm -hmm. with who? Christ. With Christ Jesus. That has always been God's plan. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. Uh, when, when, when the Bible says God so loved the world that he did what? He gave his, he gave his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. That whosoever, that whosoever is inclusive. Yeah. Uh, it means whoever yeah. uh, believes in him should not what? Perish. perish. That word perish means be separated from God. Mm -hmm. though, though people are born into this world, even babies, born into this world, they love him and they're cute. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. They're, 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 they're born separated from God. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of the sin that was passed on uh, through Adam and Eve yes. to each and every one of us. Yes. Right? Amen. So that's why Jesus came to this world so that he can reconcile us mm -hmm. back to God. Yes. And we get reconciled back to God when we believe on Jesus. Yes. Amen. Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Yes. When we believe on Jesus, yes. that he died. Amen. That he rose again. Yes. Huh? That he died for our sins. Yes. And he rose again for our power. Amen. Hallelujah. He didn't, he didn't rise for our sins. He rose up for our power. Yeah. Hallelujah. He died for our sins. Yeah. Uh, he rose up for our power. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. So when we believe on him, we receive the same power yeah. that is in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, amen. amen. Hallelujah. When you say that you have Christ in you, mm -hmm. you literally are saying the same power that is in Jesus yeah. is in me. Uh, so if that same power is in me, yeah. how come I can't live like him? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How come I can't act like him? Yeah. How come I can't have his mind? Hallelujah. How come I can't have his spirit? Yeah. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now notice, what verse is that, Pastor? Five. All right. All right, read that again. Even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Christ. Uh-huh. By grace ye are saved. Now, when we were dead in sins, amen, he quickened us together yes. with who? Christ. With Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. When I was, when I was, when we were, when we were out there in the world, mm -hmm. before we came to Jesus, notice, we were dead. Yeah. Yeah. Dead spiritually. Though we were walking around mm -hmm. naturally, mm -hmm. amen, but he's not talking about naturally. He's talking about spiritually. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. well, uh, and, and it's important to realize that, that you were once dead uh, naturally, but now alive spiritually yeah. so that you can comprehend and understand the spiritual things of God. Yes. Amen? A natural man or a carnal-minded person, they cannot understand the spiritual things of God. Amen. A lot of things that I'm saying tonight, if you're not spiritual minded, is going over your head. Yeah. But those that are spiritual minded right. and those that really want to know God, mm -hmm. uh, that God can reveal it unto you. Yeah. Amen. A spiritual mind. Yeah. Uh, notice, a carnal mind is enmity against God. Yeah. Amen. That's why the Bible says, walk in the spirit and you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen? Thank you. A spiritual-minded person, they'll have life and peace. Thank you, Lord. Even in the midst of what they're going through, they'll have life and peace. Why? Because they see things in a whole different way, a whole different realm. Amen? Uh, a carnal-minded person is like me taking off my glasses and everything is blurry. But when I become spiritual, I can see things clearly. Yes. Amen? Yes. Uh, that's what a spiritual-minded person is. Yes. And, and, and I just want you to look at here, hold that um, 
verse and go over uh, with me to uh, uh, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter number 2 and verse 14. Hallelujah. Are y'all getting something here tonight? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. Now notice, the natural person doesn't receive what? The, the, receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. Uh-huh. For they are foolishness unto him. Uh-huh. Neither can he know them. Mm -hmm. Because they are spiritually discerned. Amen. That's why we got to walk in the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, when, I'm, when I'm carnal... I can't understand God. But when I'm spiritual, I can receive the spiritual things of God. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And that's what happens. That's why I said we don't put enough emphasis on the Holy Ghost. Right. Uh, the Holy Ghost calls you to be spiritual. Yeah. You need the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Uh, you need the Holy Ghost. You can understand. Yeah. You can read this Bible frontward and backward. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and be able to quote it frontward and backward. Yeah. But it's not quickened unto you right. without his spirit. Uh, it's not made plain unto you right. without his spirit. Amen. It's like a missing piece. Yeah. Uh, a missing piece of the puzzle. Yeah. Uh, that's why you got to walk in the spirit. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let me read that scripture again, Pastor. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of God. All right, the natural person does not receive what? The things of the Spirit of God. Uh-huh. For, for they are foolishness unto him. Now notice, the natural person that is not walking with God, mm -hmm. the things that uh, I'm talking about tonight, mm -hmm. the things that the Bible says, yeah. is foolishness yeah. unto the person. Right. Because they don't understand it. Man. They can't receive it. Mm -hmm. They reject it. They don't understand the kingdom of, of God and how it works, how it operates. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They think an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth is the way God wants you to be. Mm -hmm. uh, that's not the way God wants you to be. No. Uh, they think that forgiveness mm -hmm. is, is something that's stupid. Yeah. I got to get revenge. Yeah. Uh, if you kill somebody I love, I want to see you burn in hell. Uh, but that's not the way of God. No. Uh, God wants you to extend mercy. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen? God don't want you to hold grudges. No. No. All right? Uh, God wants you to pray. Mm -hmm. God wants you to seek him, right? Mm -hmm. Fasting is foolishness to somebody that don't understand God. Right. Pra am I right? Praise and worship yeah. uh, is foolishness to somebody that don't understand God. Yes, but when you understand God, you realize that praise and worship is vital. Yes, it is. You raise, realize that prayer is necessary. Amen. You realize that the spiritual things of God uh, are, 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 are needful. And when you receive God, when you receive a true uh, transformation, you go after those spiritual things. Mm -hmm. You desire those spiritual things. Yeah. It's like you got to have it. Amen. Amen. As Amen. the deer panteth after the water brook, yeah. so panteth my soul uh -huh. after thee, O God. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's, that's a spiritual minded person. Uh, I got I to gotta be in his presence. Yeah. I got to seek his face. Amen. I got to read his word. Yes. Hallelujah. I've got to do what God has said. Amen. By any means necessary. Uh, that's the spiritual mind. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. But to the carnal mind, it's foolish. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Some some of your children may ask you, Mama, Daddy, why why you go to church so often? Mm -hmm. You know, why why are you praying so often? Mm -hmm. uh, why you why every time I talk to you, you quote the Bible? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Why? Because there's foolishness to them. Mm -hmm. Amen. They don't understand that, that, that what you're quoting is life. Yes. Amen. Yes. That, that what you're into is life. Yes. That, that when you come into the presence of God, it brings you joy and mm -hmm. peace. Mm -hmm. And it gives you strength. Yes, it does. And it helps you to endure this world. Yes. And that which is to come mm -hmm. uh, makes a difference. Yeah, come on, shot. Hallelujah. All right, let's go back over to our scripture. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. My God. Help me here, Holy Ghost. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Verse 6. All right, verse 6. And have raised us up together. Uh-huh. And made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And now notice, I'm telling you what God 
has already done. Amen? What he's already done. When you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, this is your position in Christ. Notice what he said. Read 6 again. And have raised us up together uh -huh. and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Now, God, when we accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we are seated with Jesus uh, in heavenly places. Right. Now, go over to uh, Ephesians chapter number 1. And drop down <laughs> Read, uh, start reading verse 19. 1 and 19. And what is the exceeding, exceedingness of his power to usward? The exceeding greatness? Exceeding greatness of his power to usward who believe. Uh huh. According to the working of his mighty power. Now God wants to show us the exceeding greatness of his power. Uh, to those that what? Believe. Believe. Read. Which he wrought in Christ uh -huh. when he raised him from the dead uh -huh. and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. Now notice, Jesus is seated at God's right hand where? In the heavenly places. And we just read that we're seated with him where? In heavenly, in heavenly places. Yes. With Christ Jesus. Am I right? So, so you have to get that in your mind. Huh? That that's my position now. That's why you can come boldly to the throne of grace. Huh? Because you're there. Hallelujah. You got you to see yourself there. Hallelujah. I, I'm not just anywhere. Huh? I'm seated with Christ. Huh? In a heavenly place. Amen. Now notice. Notice. Read. What does it say? For what? above all For, principalities. Now you are far above all principalities. And power. And now, now he's referring here to all spiritual wickedness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. you uh, 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 when you understand your position mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus, you are above all wickedness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Uh, why? You're seated together with him by faith. Yeah. Far above all wickedness. Read. All, far above all principality and what? And power. And power. And might. And might. And dominion. And dominion. I wish I had time to break all these down, but we don't. Amen. That, that power represents authority. Mm -hmm. The devil doesn't have any authority over you. No. Amen. This world doesn't have any authority over you. Mm -hmm. uh, might uh, doesn't have any uh, strength over you. Mm -hmm. and, and dominion. There's no, there's no kingdoms of this world that can do anything with you. Amen. Dominion means rule. Yes. Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Uh, we're in kingdom with Jesus Christ. We're connected to Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That means that, that we have dominion over the things of this world. Yeah. Uh, now I said about four right there. Yeah. Uh, that, that you've got to realize that that because you are seated with him, mm -hmm. with Christ Jesus, that nothing in this world can, can tempt you, uh -huh. can bother you, mm -hmm. can have power and authority over you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Why? Because you're with Christ Jesus. Right. Didn't he overcome the world? Amen. He said, be of good cheer. Mm -hmm. I have overcome the world. What's in the world? The lust of the flesh, mm -hmm. the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. Uh, no, nothing that the devil, you should have authority, but you should have authority, I keep saying that, mm -hmm. over anything that the devil wants to offer you. Yeah. Uh, you. You have power to put it under your feet. Amen. You have power to resist the devil steadfast. Yeah. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. You, you, you may be tempted. Mm -hmm. Amen? You will be tempted. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you don't have to get in no. to the temptation. Amen. Jesus was tempted in all points, mm -hmm. uh, just like you are, mm -hmm. but yet without sin. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, it doesn't matter what the devil offers. No. Hallelujah. We, we got an inheritance. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. No matter what the enemy tries to bring my way, I'm seated 
in a power and a powerful position. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. In our nation today, the the president and the vice president were duly elected. Man. Amen. They transitioned. Uh -huh. Amen. To a seat of power and authority, didn't they? Yeah. And same way with us, even higher. Mm -hmm. When we receive Christ, yeah. uh, we transition. Hallelujah. Into a greater power. Hallelujah. Into a greater authority. Hallelujah. 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 And, and then we sit at the seat of rule. Hallelujah. We sit at the seat of authority. Yeah. Hallelujah. We can command our demons and they'll fall down beside us. Yeah. If we can command them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We have authority to lay hands on the sick yeah. and they shall recover. Yeah. Uh, the reason why we don't see the manifestation of these things as we want to see them yeah. is because of a lack of faith. Hallelujah. When we have faith to believe, the Bible says all things are possible. Oh, you got to walk by that. That kind of shot. You got to believe that. Huh? That everything is possible. Huh? Just because I believe. I believe that Jesus huh, is the Christ. I believe that he is the Savior of the world. Hallelujah. Y'all with me tonight? Hallelujah. Now, now, hey, now notice what he said. Verse 21, what does it say? 1 and 21 Ephesians. Far above all principality, uh -huh. and power, uh -huh. and might, yes. and dominion, yes. and every name that is named. Uh, now, now there is no name huh, that, that should intimidate you. That's right. uh, if, if, if I want to say the police is coming, don't let that intimidate you. Mm -hmm. uh, if I <laughs> Uh, if I say so-and-so uh, 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 -so is coming, mm -hmm. uh, don't let, I say the devil is coming, yep. don't let that intimidate you. That's right. uh, that, don't let, don't, don't, don't let the enemy intimidate you. Man. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Read, what does it say? And every name that is named, uh -huh. not only in this world, yes. but also in that which is to come. Now, that world means age. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. And and we're right now in the age or the dispensation of grace. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. But sooner or later, this dispensation is going to close. Mm -hmm. This time that God has yeah. is going to close. Yeah. And then we'll move into another dispensation. Yes. Uh, and then we'll move into another dispensation. Yeah. And then we'll move into another dispensation. Mm -hmm. Amen? Time periods yeah. uh, that, that we experience. Mm -hmm. And what he's saying here is that no matter what the dispensation is yeah. that we're in, Jesus Christ will still prevail. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. My God. Hallelujah. When we get raptured, yeah. uh, the saints and the church get out of here, they're going to come into another dispensation. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. A thousand years after that, Jesus is going to come, and that's going to be another dispensation. Yeah. Amen? Mm -hmm. And then when Jesus is done with that dispensation, he leaves and comes back, We'll be in another dispensation. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And that other dispensation will be an eternal life type of dispensation. Hallelujah. Where it declare time will be no more. Yeah. And the reason why I'm bringing it out like that, because I'm trying to show you that through all of those dispensations, Jesus will still be Lord. Hallelujah. Huh? He'll still manifest power. Yeah. He'll still be in charge. Yes. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. So, so when you got Jesus, you got a lifelong buddy. Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. This thing is real. Yeah. Amen. This thing is real. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right, read what's it say? 22. Uh-huh. And have put all things under his feet. Now notice, everything that can bother you mm -hmm. is under the feet of Jesus. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to realize what you have. Everything that could captivate you huh, is under the feet of Jesus. Yes. Everything that can captivate me, mm -hmm. that can take me out, yes. huh, is under the feet of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So that makes it literally impossible mm -hmm. huh, for the devil to overtake me yes. huh, as long as I stay with Christ Jesus. Yes. You follow me? Amen. The Bible says no man can take you out of his hand. Huh? No man. I got to walk out on yeah. Thank you, Lord. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. No thing. Huh? That's where your faith has to be. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. A lot of us have to come to that realization or knowledge of faith. Yeah. Huh? That no matter what may come my way, mm -hmm. hallelujah, I, I, I know his grace is sufficient. Yeah. Uh, no matter what happens, huh, I know that I have power and authority over it. Yeah. There is no temptation that has taken you but such as come in a man. Yeah. But your God is what? Faithful. Faithful. He won't suffer you to be tempted above that which you 
crying. And he'll take that temptation and make a way of escape. Why? So that you can be able to bear it. Uh, that's my faith. That has to be your faith. Hallelujah. And you're seated with Christ. And because you're seated with him, you're seated with victory. That's why Paul said, thanks be to God. Thank glory. That giveth us the victory. Huh? Through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Notice. He used the word victory. Yeah. Uh, the reason why he used the word victory, because there's some things that are going to attack you. Yeah. There's some things that are going to come after you. Yeah. But you have power to overcome them yeah. and have the victory. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hallelujah. Yeah. The victory. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Yeah. Uh, you got to know where your help comes from. Yeah. You got to know where you're seated. Yeah. Amen. You. Hallelujah. Nothing by any means should overtake you. Thank you Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Why? Wow. Because I'm far above principalities. Yeah. I'm far above dominions. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. My God. This, in other words, the Lord by faith has literally taken you out of the world, mm -hmm. out of this world system. Mm -hmm. If you allow me to say it that way. Mm -hmm. Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Taking you out by faith. Yeah. Take you out of this world system yeah. and translated you into another system, which he calls the kingdom of his dear son. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now you operate uh, by a whole new set of rules. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You live by another set of faith. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Which is a more reality than what you're living in now. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. All right. Let me move on because. I'm on. I'm on. Go to know. I'm going to uh, go deep. <laughs> all right, read. What we say? Twenty-two. All right, we say. And I put all things under His feet. All right, all the things under His feet. And gave Him to be the head over all things to the church. Now notice, Jesus. In order for you to receive what He's saying, you got to recognize Him as the head. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. He's the head of the church. Yes, He is. He's Lord. So you submit to his authority. Yes. That's why Paul talked about you're not the children of disobedience. Mm -hmm. You're the child of obedience. Yes. Obedience is everything with God. Amen. Amen. Yes, it is. Obedience is everything. Amen. Yes. Everything. everything. Thank you. And, and God wants you to obey even when you don't understand. Yeah. Huh? He's not going to counsel you and give you all of his will and all of his counsel mm -hmm. so that you, he just wants you to trust him. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Come on here somebody. Yes, sir. Trust the Lord. Yes, sir. Amen? Mm -hmm. We know God is good. Yeah. Don't. Amen. We know God is gracious. Yeah. Don't. Uh, we know that he won't do anything against us. No. Uh, God is for us. Yes. Am I right? Amen. So we got to trust him. Amen. That's what walk by faith means. Mm -hmm. Alright, read. Where we at? 23. Uh-huh. Which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. All right, let's go back over. And I believe that scripture that said that we are seated with him. Mm -hmm. uh, that was in two and six. No, we passed that. Yeah, we yeah but I, I, I'll, yeah. Read that again. Yep, read that again. And had raised us up together uh -huh. and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I said all that, took that next 15 minutes to show you where you were seated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, don't forget that. That's where you seated. Mm -hmm. Far above principalities right. and powers and dominions. Mm -hmm. huh? And you're in a position where all things are under his feet. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Thank you, Lord. All right, read. Seven. Uh-huh. That in the ages to come, uh -huh. he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. Now, when he says, in the, in the time to come, mm -hmm. amen, mm -hmm. and we're talking about salvation mm -hmm. and what the Lord has done. When you talk about uh, in the time to come, he's going to show the exceeding riches of his grace. Yes. Meaning that God has already predestinated. He predetermined. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Which means that he's already set the plan in motion even before you came into existence. My Lord. Right. Follow me? Yes. 
God had a plan for his church. Yes. And, and when we receive God's plan, then we become a part of his plan. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Mm -hmm. Now, um, let's go back over to chapter number one. Because I want to talk about when he said the, talk about the, the exceeding riches of his grace. Go to chapter 1 and verse 6. To the no, let read verse 5. Having predestinated us into the adoption of children. All right, that predestinated means he made firm beforehand. It's like, it's like before you die as a parent, you have a will in place. Mm -hmm. And you have some things in place for your child. Even some people do it before they're even born. Yeah. They get scholarships together mm -hmm. to send them to college. Mm -hmm. Amen. Before they're even born. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what predestination or predetermination is. Mm -hmm. It's done before you came into existence. Wow. Amen. Mm -hmm. And God did it according to his wisdom. And there's another word there that calls prudence. Mm -hmm. Which means that God did it according to his wisdom, his skill and his meticulous uh, uh, planning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God is meticulous. Yes, he is. Uh, because he knows every hair on your head. Yes. Amen. That's how meticulous he is. Wow. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, how, that's how skilled he is and how meticulous he is when he established salvation for you. Yes. Uh, All right, read. Having predestinated us into the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, uh -huh. according to the good pleasure of his will. Read. To the praise of the glory of his grace. Now notice, you look at these words. To the praise of the glory of what? His grace. He wants his grace to be praised. Mm -hmm. Amen. When we look at grace, we're looking at God's favor, mm -hmm. his kindness, yes. his forgiveness. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You got to remember this. Hallelujah. You're looking at, when Todd talk about his grace, he's talking about his favor. Yes. Amen. His favor. Mm -hmm. When we talk about mercy, we describe that too as God's un, unmerited favor. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and, and basically, the difference between uh, unmerited favor and outright favor is this. Is that unmerited favor that when he deals with you with mercy, he's doing, dealing with you and giving you something you don't deserve. Amen. With favor, which is which is also grace, mm -hmm. he's giving you something uh, that that though you don't deserve it, he's going to lavish it on you because you need it. Yeah. Hallelujah. Without it, you can't make it. All right. hey, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's why he said grace and mercy shall follow you all the day. That's why he commanded it that grace and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Hey, hallelujah. So notice what he said. To, to the praise of the glory of his grace, read. Wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. Now it's because of God's grace uh, that you need. He's made you accepted mm -hmm. uh, in Christ Jesus. Yes. That's the beloved. Huh? Yes. Christ Jesus. Yes. Uh, that's why you need it. Yes. <laughs> so you can be accepted. Yes. Huh? Uh, before you were no good. Yes. Without Christ. Without hope in this world. Amen. But yes. when you receive Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, God did something for you. Yes. Uh, God, God, God made some moves on your behalf. Hallelujah, my God. Hallelujah. Hey, I right, read. What's it say? In whom we have redemption through his blood. Now notice, this is the moves. Mm -hmm. He you got, this is what grace, if you were in the fine grace, when God showed me this, kind of blew my mind. Mm -hmm. This is the definition of grace. Yes. Forgiveness. Uh, read. The forgiveness of sins. Uh-huh. Oh, wait a minute. In whom we have redemption uh, through his blood. Now grace is redemption. Mm -hmm. uh, through the who? Through the blood of Jesus. Yes. Read. The forgiveness of sin. Grace is forgiveness of sins. According to 
According to the riches of his grace. <laughs> according to the riches of God's grace. Amen. Hallelujah. God did it according to the riches of his grace. Amen. Yeah. If you were to ask me for a dollar, uh, I'd give it to you out of my measly bank account. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That, 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 that will, uh, uh, what's that word I want? Help me here, Holy Ghost. That would deplete in a moment. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. But with God's grace, yes. Hallelujah, never depletes. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's more than enough. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. You follow me? Yeah. And and what God is what God is it's extending to you, mm -hmm. it's already accounted for. Yes. Hallelujah. That he'll never run out. Because no. it's already accounted for. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God, God looked over CC's life mm -hmm. and said, CC is gonna need a million dollars to be able to live. Yeah. God said, uh, uh, but it, he predetermined it. Yeah. He said, I'm going to send her uh, two million dollars so that, so that there'll be no lack, no excuse. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's, that's the abundance yeah. of his grace. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. He's more than enough. enough. <laughs> Y'all with me? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's the definition of grace. Yeah. All right, read. What's it say? Oh, I'm done. Let's go back over. Y'all, oh, Jesus. <laughs> We're going to have to finish this next week. Thank you. Let me, let me just finish up here. Thank you, Lord. Let's go back over to two. All right. All right. Where we at? Uh, seven, I think. All right. That, it, that in the ages to come, he uh, might show the exceeding riches of his grace. All right. Now, in the ages to come, which is now, mm -hmm. God is showing us what? The exceeding riches of his grace. So he's showing it to us now. Mm -hmm. You're in it now. Mm -hmm. Amen. The exceeding riches of his grace. Yes. Read. In his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus. That, that kindness is mercy. Yes. Huh? Yes. That he extends to us through who? Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. Read. For by grace are you saved through faith. Now notice. He says by grace are you delivered. Uh -huh. Are you sanctified? Mm -hmm. Huh? Are you set free? Yes. Are you healed? Uh, by faith. Mm -hmm. That word, that word salvation there, it, it really stems from the gospel. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. And the gospel deals with the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. Yes. The gospel is literally a legal document with God mm -hmm. that authorizes your salvation. All right. So when you believe on the gospel, you then are reconciled to God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Forgiven of your sins, and 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 when you uh, uh, present yourself, when the devil presents himself against you, you can use your legal authority through the gospel to repel him. All right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The devil operates illegally. Yes. Huh? Yes. Thank you, Lord, down here. But because you got power, because you got authority. Uh, you can put the devil under your feet by the power of the gospel of yes. Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen? That's a whole nother Bible study. Mm -hmm. Read. For by grace are you saved through faith, uh -huh. and that not of yourselves, uh -huh. it is the gift of God. Now, all of this was done, not because you caused it, mm -hmm. not because you willed it, mm -hmm. was be done because of God's plan. Amen? Yes. So if it is God's plan, I can't mess it up. <laughs> no. 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 Amen? If it's God's will, he's sovereign, nothing can come up against him. That's right. Am I right? That's right. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Now, as we, as we close out, I want you to go just with me here. Um, uh, if, uh, John, I'm sorry, John chapter John chapter 1, verse 17. Lord have mercy. John 1, Yes. For the law was given by Moses. Now notice, the law was given by Moses to expose sin. Read. But grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Who did grace and truth come by? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. When you receive Christ, you receive grace. And you receive truth. Mm -hmm. 
Amen? Yes. Uh, that came by Jesus. Yay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God for his grace. Amen. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. My God. My God. Let me, let me, can I hear one more scripture? Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. My God. My God. Go with me over here to 2 Peter 3 and 18. 2 Peter 3 and 18. But grow in grace. Now notice what he wants you to do. Grow in it. And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, when he says grow in grace, he's talking about you growing in the wisdom of it. And the knowledge of it. Mm -hmm. And as you do that, you'll grow in the wisdom and knowledge of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Realize what you have. Value what you have. Amen? Amen? When you value what you have and operate in what you have, the Bible says you'll leave the principles of the doctrine. Yes. Uh, the laying of uh, 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 hands, hands, yeah, and and the forgiveness of sins, yes. hallelujah, and you'll go on to perfection, yes. amen, maturity, yes, huh, uh, leaving behind the dead works yes. of laying on of hands mm -hmm. and, and, and and forgiveness of sins, yes. you'll go on, yes. amen, mm -hmm. hallelujah, Thank you, Lord. It makes a difference. Thank you, Jesus. All right, read that again. What does it say, Pastor? But grow in grace. Grow in grace. And in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. To him be glory both now and forever. Yes. Amen. Amen. Oh, that's a great benediction. <laughs> All right. Amen. Give God a praise. Amen. Hallelujah. God has done some great things for us. Yes. Amen. God has done some mighty things for us. Yes. And And those of you that are are with us and listening to us on today. Amen. If you want to be baptized in the name of Jesus, just put your name in the slot there, yes. and I'll baptize you. Yes. Hallelujah. And if you have enjoyed this Bible study, you have an opportunity to give through tithely or dropping your love offering in uh, our drop box here at 930 Liberty Street. Amen. As always, we want you to uh, come and be with us we uh, respect COVID-19 uh, restrictions, mm -hmm. and we praise you, the Lord. Yeah. Until next time, God bless.